Let's talk about the new drugs used to treat myeloma today. First, velcator bortezomib, also known as a proteasome inhibitor. So what does that mean? First of all, let's talk what a proteasome is. It's a complex in your cell that gobbles up proteins that are marked for breakdown. In this case, it turns out some of the proteins that are marked, however, are ones that kill myeloma. So we do not want those proteins broken down. And the drug Velcade blocks the proteasome from doing that. And as a result, the good guys, that is the proteins that cause myeloma to die, hang around. And thus we have very effective treatment. There are other mechanisms besides directly killing myeloma that Velcade works to kill myeloma. It makes the soil in which the myeloma seeds less hospitable, so the fertilizer is not there to grow myeloma. It also stimulates the immune system, and by doing so, the immune system allows myeloma cells to go away. And importantly, a big problem in myeloma is bone loss, and we now know that this drug seems to strengthen your bone by preventing bone loss. The drug is given by injection IV. It just takes a few seconds to give it. It's usually given four times every three weeks, but we need to spread the doses out because if you give them on consecutive days, that proteasome inhibition can be deadly on healthy cells. So we usually give it the first, fourth, eighth, and eleventh of a three-week cycle. It's usually given for several months, and then we either usually discontinue it or make the dose less frequent than it was when you started. It's a great pl platform drug, Velcade. What that means is you can safely combine it with lots of other anti-myeloma drugs. The schedule may vary when you combine it with these other drugs. It can be used long-term with these other drugs without additive side effects. In fact, we now know from work in the laboratory that the drug helps overcome resistance of myeloma cell to chemotherapy such as melphalan, doxorubicin, and doxol that we mentioned. It's also been effectively combined with steroids, arsenic that we're going to talk about, thalidomide and lenalidomide or ravalimid that we're going to talk about. There are major side effects that only include two. One is a low platelet count, which is reversible. And two is nerve damage or neuropathy, which is also reversible in most cases. The neuropathy may be numbness or tingling. It occasionally can be painful. You do not have to adjust the dose of this drug for patients in kidney failure. That's important because, as you've heard, many patients will develop kidney problems, and this is a drug you can use in that setting effectively. Now that we've talked about Velcade, let's talk about two other new drugs that fall under the class of IMIDs, or immunomodulatory drugs, thalidomide, and then second, revlimid or lenalidomide. 